Hi, it's Armando Cruz, your body transformation coach and lifestyle physical therapist with Cruz Country Fitness and Physical Therapy. And today I wanna to share with you something that happened to me this weekend. In fact, this weekend we went rock climbing, hence up there we have the five principles of rock climbing uh, to success. And I wanted to share that with you because I realized after rock climbing with the group that rock climbing is a wonderful metaphor for reaching your goals and the sport or the art of rock climbing can teach you a lot of things. And so I broke it down into five principles that you can use today to help you achieve your goals and help put things in perspective. So the first one is zigzag to the top. Now, rarely will you ever, when you're rock climbing, are climbing like a ladder, going straight up, very rarely. In fact, what ends up having to happen is you have to shift side to side, getting as close to the wall as possible and getting the angles on the rock so you get the best possible grip. And so life and your goal towards success very often is in these zigzag patterns. And if you s embrace that and take charge by going zigzag to zigzag and understand that you're still moving forward, then you'll see that you'll have more longevity and you'll get to the top quicker. The second one is use your legs. Now, I know this may or may not make sense, but let's just say when you're rock climbing, your legs are your main propeller. And the same thing, your legs are designed for locomotion, meaning to propel you forward from point A to point B. They're also, they're also there to help establish a solid base on which you stand on. And so when you're rock climbing, men more than women tend to use more of their arms. Now, if you look at the size of your arms versus your legs, what you'll find is that your legs are a lot bigger and they're a lot stronger and they'll last longer. And so when you use your legs and when you use your a strong base of support to help reach your goals, what you'll find, what you'll find is that you'll have more endurance to keep going because you will have obstacles. It will take some time. It's not gonna be easy. And you're gonna need the endurance and the strength of a good solid support like your legs to help propel you towards success. Now let me take you to the third one, teamwork. I'm sure you've heard that before, but you know, getting to the top, getting to success, whether you're trying to lose weight, trying to uh, make sure that you adhere to to certain eating principles is gonna take teamwork. Surround yourself with those people that are gonna help and support you get to the top. And so when you're rock climbing, you have what's called the belayer, the person who's literally holding your life in, your ha in their hands. Um, they're gonna be in charge of holding the rope so that if you slipped and fell, they would actually hold you so you don't fall to your death, right? So I know it's very, <laughs> very exciting stuff. So, but also when we were in a group on the other day, you also had the peanut gallery shouting out and saying, hey, look, over here you have a foothold over there, reach up to this part here. And it's important to have people in your life to help support you and see what you may necessarily not be able to see. So there's a great saying that when you're in the picture, you cannot see the, you cannot see the, you can't see the frame, sorry. When you're in the picture, you cannot see the frame. Um, and so that speaks to the point of when you're in there, when you're in the trenches, it's hard to have perspective from the outside. And sometimes having the, that team that can look from the outside in is very valuable to, to help you see those nuances that you wouldn't have normally seen. So number four almost goes contrary to number three, which is use your gut. And while teamwork is amazing, at the end of the day, you have to make the decision at the end of the day, you have to execute. So use your gut, go for it, make that commitment, take that next step forward. And you know, when the time comes to it, you know, you're in the trenches, you're the one that's, that's gutting it out every single day. You're grinding it, you're moving forward, you're pushing ahead when, you know, when times get tough, you're the one that's still going through it. So sometimes you need to make that executive decision and say, look, I'm gonna continue along this path regardless of what other people say. And sometimes you'll be right, sometimes you'll be wrong, but you know what? Take solace in knowing that you made that decision and you go at it 100%. And if it doesn't work, you move on, you, you, you self-correct and you keep pressing forward. That's part of the zigging and the zagging. And finally, commit. 
Commitment is crucial in anything you do. If you want to be successful, you have to commit 100% because if not, you keep flip-flopping and you keep um, almost convincing yourself that the, the grass is greener on the other side, that this may not be it. Decide on something, commit to it, give it enough time to, to actually let it take form and take shape and see where it gets you. If it doesn't work out that way, then it's time to move on correct a little bit then keep pressing forward you know there's something to be said um people think you know these missiles go in a straight line people shoot you know when they're at war these like the patriot missiles people think that these targeted missiles that can go from one point to a specific point almost go in a straight line but they're auto correcting in the air at all times and so it's not just going in one smooth loop it's going up a little bit here then going down and here and down until eventually it finds a, that that actual trajectory to hit the target and that's what you need to be doing you know be like that missile move create momentum and auto correct along the way those are my five principles of rock climbing to success i hope you enjoyed them i hope you apply them i'll see you soon and have a great and blessed day